Yo, how's it going you guys? New Age here with some more Pokemon Showdown Ladder and Sessions and today is Sunday so you know what that means over on Pokemon of the Week I mean over on Serebii is, <laughs> is Pokemon of the Week and today they have decided to showcase Meloetta so I'm like hey I'm gonna do that too um I don't know what tier oh yeah I guess it is are you cuz when I was looking into it, there were sets for like Yu Yu and stuff, but if it's uh, if it's Yu Yu, then it can't be an R U. So, anyways, 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 anyways. Uh, so I decided to go with the subcom mindset. I thought that would be fun. Um, the only thing is this one is kind of slow compared to like just normal like fast sweeping combine sets. But I kind of didn't want to use like a fast sweeping one, especially because Meloetta can kind of like scare out, I feel, a lot of Pokemon. Uh, especially with its high like special defense and HP. Like if I switch it in on a special attacker and they're like, oh, I'm doing nothing to this, I'm gonna switch out. That's when I get up a sub and then we have a good time. So uh, yeah, got Meloetta here. We got a uh, special Flygon as our defogger and uh, special attacker hits things like a Scavalier, uh, Rhyperior, <coughs> things that Meloetta doesn't necessarily appreciate all that kind of stuff uh, we got quillfish as a toxic spike absorber since uh Meloetta doesn't enjoy those as well as setting up our own toxic spikes and spikes um i love quillfish quillfish is such a cool pokemon like with all the moves it can get utility like waterfall and uh t-wave as well like paraflinch set gotta love it so yeah kind of pretty standard quillfish over here uh, we got Life Orb Hitmonlee, also as a spinner in case we want that. Um, and then Mach Punch for like dark tech Pokemon. Things like Houndoom and stuff could definitely be a problem, but not with the Mach Punch, you know? Well, probably not with the Mach Punch, you know. Other than that, normal. Normal Hitmonlee right there. We got Aromatease to handle... Uh, some other dark types, specifically like Spiritomb, as well as be able to wish pass into Meloetta if we want to, or even uh, heal any status that we might get with Aromatherapy. And then last we got Choice Scarf Embor, um, kind of as a late game sweeper if we can make it happen, or otherwise it just helps us against like Steel and Rock types, that kind of deal. Um, the set I got off uh, smog in for this had sleep talk and it was like it's just a filler move uh but i'm cool with it because it gives us a switch into it gives us a sleep absorber if we really want one and then we can always like sleep talk the first turn and then after that you know we can always uh use aromatherapy to wake it up later if we want to and you know that goes for any of our pokemon uh so yeah that's the team and as usual the link to the cerebi link the link to the cerebi link wow i'm tired i can't talk right now the link to the Cerebi post will be down below in the description. So other than that, let's find us a battle. Alright, we got a game against a Weavile and a Pyroar. Also, this thing. Do I have anything to beat that? I guess Meloetta can beat it if I set up. Alright, let's see. Is Lee Deancey a thing? Quillfish is just like pretty good I feel against that but I feel like I don't really have any lead Pokemon other than Quillfish but he doesn't have a status absorber um, he just has the defogger so I guess I will lead Quillfish uh, he decides to lead with Pyroar I don't know how much this thing will do to us but what is this thing gonna do I mean, I'm pretty sure Aromatease can switch into it decently. Eh, kinda. I wanted to have, uh, it was either Aromatease or Alamomola. Kinda, kinda feel like that one might have been a better option. But, uh, let's go for Toxic Spike, see how much- Okay, that just one-shots us? Like, for reals, he's always? I was too lazy to calc every turn, and now- Now it's too late! Too late. Pyroar. 
Yeah, Life Orb Hyper Voice does not one-shot me all the time, so... It would have to be choice... Choice... Yeah, choice specs. Yeah. And it's so fast, it's faster than him only. Superpower will knock it out. But like, do I risk that? Like, Scarf Embor is totally a thing. Hitmonlee! Moth Punch does a lot, but it doesn't knock it out. Granted, I don't die to Hyper Voice. I could, but... Oh man. Alright, let's go Embor. Alright, should we, should we be uh, cheeky and predict here? Predict him to go into something like Banette? If he wants to go Banette, what do I even have for that though? Other than him only. I need a dark type. Maybe I'll switch Quillfish out for Drapion. But I like Quillfish so much more. I do need a dark type though. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, who could we go? Maybe, uh, maybe Aromatis. Honestly, you couldn't touch Meloetta, though, either. Uh, let's try that. Yeah. Oh, he went to Yancey. All right, well, that's, that's not what I was expecting, but let's give it a shot. <coughs> Hit him with a sub. Maybe we could just set up and sweep right now. How much does this do to Meloetta? Oh, it's another common user. Hyper voice does not do much. Alright, I'm gonna come on up. I'm gonna be a, be a big boy. Wait, why did I take... Oh. It's like, why did I take damage? Couldn't have been from the... <laughs> substitute that I used. Alright, so we have Psy Shock on this thing to attempt to beat other, like, Calm My Pokemon. Okay, and he's gonna get a special defense drop. That's cool. Uh, at this point, Moonblast isn't doing enough to break my sub. But, I wanna go for one more. Oh, he's gonna... Okay. Um... Yeah, I think I wanna Calm Mind again. I don't know how much Dancy can do to me. Then again, I don't know how much I can do to Deancey. Um, Rock Polish. Calm Mind? That's, that's not the set. Because, I mean, if so, it's going to be a bit hard to take out Deancey. I guess we're just boosting all the way. I mean, would Psy Shock do less? Oh yeah, it would. Or it would do more. Plus six Psy Shock can knock this thing out. Yeah, because it's going to hit him on the defensive side, not the special defensive side. So he's still got to go for one more, but I'm already at max, so I'm going to go for Psy Shock here. Ooh, damage! Let's hope he goes for one more combine. Cool. And now I'm faster than him too. Unfortunately, um, actually, I want to go for, uh, Focus... Focus Blast? Should I? No, it won't knock him out. I have to go for Psy Shock. Damn it. Can he knock me out with, like, Pursuit or something? That was so much wasted time just to get, like, no result. I'm gonna go into, uh, Aromatisse. Let's see if he has Pursuit. Okay, he doesn't. Fake Out? Of all the moves? Okay. Um, and I think I just want to go for Wish here. I should be fine, I would hope. I feel like Aromatease is not that great. But we're max defense and all that good stuff, so, you know. Um, how much does Moonblast do? Let's see. Pyroar versus Aeromates. Not bad. Choice Specs, Hyper Voice, wow. Fire Blast does a lot too. I'm just gonna Moon Blast. <clears throat> Cause I still get my HP from my Wish. Hmm. 
Hyper Voice does 56. I feel like I could stall this thing out. Yeah, because, ooh, we get a crit. If we get that special defense drop, we'll be chilling. Um, because plus the leftovers, I'll always live the Hyper Voice. And then I can wish, get back up to full, then attack again. Oh, well, no, I won't get back up to full. But I am going to wish here. If anything, I could stall him out of Hyper Voice. He only has 12 left. Ooh, close one. So, yeah, we protect here. If he wants to Hyper Voice again, that's fine. All right, I think we can win this. Let's do it, though. Let's make it happen. I don't like that we didn't get the hazards out. That was a little unfortunate. But I think Meloetta can definitely sweep him later. Um... So we're going to Moonblast here. Actually, is that the right play? No, I think Wishing is the right play. Aw oh, man, why do you get that high roll? Doing 60? That's way too much. I mean, we are stalling him out of Hyper Voices. I don't want to play the Stally game though. I can't tell if this team is like Hyper Offense or Balance. Nothing is really like that crazy on his team. So he's gonna go Bennett here. So we get that nice recovery. Um, I feel like he might go for knockoff, honestly. But I think I wanna go for Wish again. I don't think he's gonna like taunt. Yeah, he's gonna knock off. So he could have a better shot at baiting me. Um and at this point, let's see. I feel like Embor is good. Oh, but I don't get my leftovers. Actually, Pyro is in range of a uh, mock punch anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't. I don't need to let this heal up. So he's gonna go for Shadow Claw. It's gonna do a lot, but we're gonna get pretty much all of our HP back. And here, uh. I feel like Flare Blitz is good. I think Deancey will go down to two anyways, so he really doesn't have a... I mean, he has Gastrodon, but Gastrodon lets me set up on stuff, so... I'm gonna Flare Blitz. Bring him down to ten. Hmm. Okay, as he crits us, I mean... That's unfortunate, but... I guess doable. It's fine. We do outspeed with Flygon. I don't want him to Destiny Bond, though. Am I going to lose this? I don't think so. I think Hitmonlee can definitely like clean up in the end too. Depends. I don't want him to hit me with knockoff, so... I'm just going to go for a Moonblast. If he wants to Destiny Bond, then so be it. As he just goes for a Shadow Claw, so we knock him out. Not bad. I could have tried to heal up there, but... Eh. I would have rather gotten rid of his fighting immunity. Because now Hitmonlee, like, just has a crazy party with his team. So he's going to go out into Pyro here. Um, hmm. I'm going to go for Protect. I just want to see what he's going for. Because, okay, he's still going for uh, Hyper Voice. Hmm. Alright, so I'm just going to click Wish. I might switch Quillfli Quillfish to Drapion. I would like to have a dark resist on my team. Uh, now I go Hitmonlee, and uh, this thing just dies, so... I mean, he could switch if he wants, but he really doesn't have anything that wants to come in on this. Is Hitmonlee faster than Flygon? No, it's not. Well, that kind of sucks, but... So, Flygon is the only thing I could see being a huge issue. I might just lose to Flygon. Hmm. Let's see. The question is, do I sack my Flygon or go out into Meloetta? Yeah, Outrage does a lot. I mean, I could try and risk a speed tie, because him on lead definitely can... It can pick off, like, Sneasel and Deancey, I feel. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go Flygon. If he doesn't go for a Dragon move, okay, he does. That's fine. So, Outrage to Meloetta. Actually, how much does it do to him only? Outrage knocks out him only, too. Hmm. If he gets two turn Outrage and gets confused, then we can attempt to bank off that. So I'm gonna attempt to go for sub here. And hope that he gets a two turn Outrage. And then hits himself in confusion. Oh? Okay, so we, we have a shot. Not really a great shot, but we have a shot. Side shot can do up to half, unboosted, so... I guess we'll go for that. Come on, hit yourself, Flygon. We need you to not pull through. Okay. Or nah. Let's see, how much does Hitmonlee do? Uh, if he hits himself in confusion like once, he can almost be in range of Mach Punch. I don't know if he will be or not, but we're going to try and go for sub here. Oh, he hits himself. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. We have a chance. He is definitely in range of Mach Punch now, or should be. It does 35 to 41, so... Hitmonlee can still come in. Revenge kill. Sneasel, I doubt, is sashed. Unfortunately, he gets that outrage off, so... Meloetta... Won't be able to do much. I mean, he has things like... Sneasel. <clears throat> How much do I do to Deancey? Yeah, I have to go for high jump kick on Deancey. And then the last thing is uh, Gastrodon. High jump kick does like 87%. That's ridiculous. I don't know how low I'll be though, if I'll be in range of Earth Power. Um, I'm just gonna go for Focus Blast here. Oh! Meloetta! Oh! And he was Sash, so that definitely came in clutch. I was worried about that too. Oh! It feels nice! Oh yeah. So unfortunately he'll be faster, but I don't, I don't know how much uh, he'll do with Ice Shard. Hopefully not too much. All right, come on, him only. I just don't want to be in range of Earth Power because Earth Power, uh, it doesn't really add up. Yeah, I'm I'm in range of Earth Power. So unless I like crit high jump kick, then I lose to uh, Gastrodon. Crit high jump kick will knock him out. Yeah. Like a max defense uh, Gastrodon. What if he's like Spadef Gastrodon? Then I could knock him out. Let's do it, high jump kick. Ha! Oh, it knocked him out! Was he not defensive? Max HP like Spadef. Uh Gastrodon. High jump kick definitely knocks out. If he's max defense though, it did not knock him out at all. So all we do all we have to do now is land one more. High jump kick! Huh! Got him! Crit the last one! Oh, him only pulled through, most definitely. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Let's find us another game. Alright, we got another game. Uh, I changed Quillfish to Drapion. Just to... I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I just wanted something with a nice, like, strong knockoff and a dark resist. I kept Aromatease for now because it, it did a pretty solid job. Um, so, let's see what we got. What does he have for a lead? Glalie? Is that a, is that a thing? How fast is Glalie? Lily, base 80. Does Drapion have speed, Lily? 
Could have Earthquake though too. And he could be Sashed. Kinda wanna lead Hitmonlee. Two mock punches definitely knock him out. Let's let's lead Hitmonlee. As he's gonna lead Slow King, okay. I mean I'll hit this dude with a knockoff. Nah. He's not defensive. Are there no Okay. <laughs> well, let's assume he is defensive. If he's max HP, knockoff still does a lot. If he is for whatever reason spadef, I can potentially knock him out. Hey! <clears throat> he was a solid. So he had some HP. And Psyshock is gonna knock us out. Dang, why does him only just die to everything? That's a little upsetting. Okay. Um, can I set up on this? I feel like I can. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Let's let's attempt. All right, he's gonna switch straight out into Registeel. We're gonna get behind that sub, so that way he can uh, paralyze us or anything. He's gonna go for the Stealth Rock. Okay. Um, I just wanna see. Like, I wanna know how how beefy I need to be. Let's assume he's Spadef. So at plus one. Focus Blast can do like half. So I think I might go for it just to see the damage. Okay. So that's how much it does. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to go for sub again in case he tries to paralyze me. No. Nope. Ugh. That was annoying that we missed that first one because now we for sure have to hit like two. As it does do. Let's see, leftovers? No leftovers. See, we wouldn't have had to take this damage. We would have been sitting pretty at like full. Um, Him on the, can, or Metacham, my bad, could definitely come out now. Yep. I wish we had a ghost type. Hmm. How much do I need aromatease? Yeah, let's just go aromatease. I don't like calcing things like crazy. Ooh, nice and resisted. That's life orb. Damn, we eat that. All right, I'm gonna go for a wish here. Oh, dang. Okay, I mean that works. Um. Will Zen Headbutt knock me out? Metacham to Aromatease. Nah, Zen Headbutt should have knocked me out. I'm gonna go for Moonblast. He went for High Jump Kick? Why? I was about to go for Protect there too. I mean, whatever. We, we end up at more HP, so I'll take it. I don't know why he went High Jump Kick right there. Um, now I want to know how much Glalie does. With Explosion? Oh my gosh, that does like zero. Oh, he's Mega Glalie. Damn it. Ugh. I really wanted to click Protect there too. That's really annoying. I mean, he's kind of just sacking a bunch of his Pokemon now, I feel. Um, his Slow King is somewhat low. I really want to get rid of these rocks. Uh, yeah, let's go Flygon. Because if he goes Slow King, I would like to think I could knock it out. But I'm going to defog for now. Yeah, it's just going to get HP. Gold Bat. Let's assume you're... you. You've got to be physically defensive if you have... AV Slow King. Alright, so Draco Meteor does nothing. Sweet! Um, I feel like I could just go Drapion. I really want to knock off his item. I think I'll go... I think I'll go Draco. Okay, I was gonna say to try and force him to roost, but never mind. 
Never mind. I'm gonna go to Drapion now. Try and knock him off. Brave Bird shouldn't be able to do that much. I'm gonna go for knockoff. She's gonna super fang. Do I wanna taunt or T spike? Kinda wanna toxic spike. Yeah, he's gonna roost. We'll get some lefties. Um And I think I want to go for one more T-Spike. He's got a U-turn, so his Pokemon are going to be getting toxic now. And I don't think he should go Slow King. I might just Taunt whatever he goes out into. If he goes Slow King, I'll go for Taunt. Because I could definitely set up on that with Meloetta. Alright, let's see what you got, friend. Yeah, something's gonna get toxic here. So he decides to go out in a slow king. Um hmm. Yeah, I think I do wanna just taunt. Yeah, I'm sure he's just gonna skull, that's fine. He gets the burn. Um I'm actually okay with this because now I can for sure just start setting up with Meloetta. Um I really wanna sub. But I think I'm just gonna go straight for Calm Mind. Cause I mean, he he has infl Infiltrator, so. Yeah, Brave Bird does, Brave Bird does like 25%. Ha! <laughs> That's true. True. <laughs> you ain't lying. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna call man. <laughs> Why is he getting so mad? Uh, I was really hoping that wouldn't burn me. That's annoying. That is actually really annoying. I wanted to sub because his Scald wouldn't break my sub. But I was like, hey, let's get a little bit stronger. Ugh, and we die to Brave Bird now. That's really annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna side shock here. Oh sweet, never mind. Hey, Golbat's gone. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I don't know how fast Sock is. I'm a little worried about Sock, but just the fact that it would be toxic is legit. And I kind of really don't care about Silver at this point because it's toxic. Uh, 269 is like max speed. So yeah, it probably outspeeds me. I'm just going to Psy Shock. Yep, okay. So 295 max speed. So we do have speed it with Flygon. Unless he's Scarfed. Draco Meteor can knock him out. So let's do that. Let's do that. As he is scarfed. Okay, good to know. So now at this point, we go Embor. Uh, how much do I do? I mean, I can just go Wild Charge, right? Yeah, Wild Charge knocks this thing out. It's a wrap, friend. Hey, Or it doesn't knock it out? Hello? Alright, well... I mean, Wild Charge will still knock out uh, Slowbro. Or should. Slow King. What was I calking? Oh, that was Choice Band, that's why. 52 to 62. Let's get it. Ah! GG. Ha <laughs> ha! He was so mad. I don't understand! Let's find another game. Alright, we got one uh, with a Helm Doom now. Hey! And a Cofagrigus. I don't really like that. I feel like Meloetta can beat that though, pretty easily. All right, I feel like Meloetta can actually win this game. Um, especially if I can end up behind a sub against Town Doom. Pretty sure I could just sweep like nonstop. 
Part of me really just wants to lead with Meloetta too. Like this thing can't touch me with the ghost move. Alright, let's lead Meloetta. Let's be crazy. He's gonna lead Jolteon. That one I am a little iffy about. Just because it's strong. Thunderbolt can do like 34%. I think I just want to call mine as he goes for hidden power trying to predict. Nah, bro. We're in it to win it. And I think here I want to sub in case he's choice and has to switch. Yep, and he's going to go Houndoom. Now we're behind the sub against Houndoom. Oh my gosh, and now he does the Furkus Blast. <laughs> hey, my dude. Get out of here, Houndoom. Ah. And now, I think Meloetta can win. Um, let's see. If he's choice specs, signal beam at plus one, does 29 to 34%. If I get up to plus two, it's not breaking my sub every time. How much do I do though? A plus one special attack. I can almost knock this thing out. Um, I feel like he is going for signal beam or an electric move. So I think I'll take advantage of that, not let my Meloetta get weakened. Um, and I think now I'll go Flygon, because that's, that's what people do, you know? Oh my gosh. And here, I think I'll just click Fire Blast. I don't really see him getting up any hazards against me, but... Fire Blast covers, like, some good switches, like Registeel or something. I mean, he could stay in, but... Hitmonlee! Mock Punch does so much to Jolteon. As he's gonna go Confagrigus, okay. I mean, that works. 35% is not bad. Um... Now I don't know what I wanna do. I don't want him to start like setting up in my face or something. I also don't want him to burn. I'm gonna go Drapion. I need to get Toxic Spikes up to start weakening. Oh, well that, I mean that doesn't matter. Um, how does he get rid of hazards on this team? Yeah, because I want to, uh, I, does he have Will-O-Wisp too? I'm gonna go for Will-O-Wisp now, or a Taunt, I mean. Um, <clears throat> because I need to weaken his Jolteon to put him in range of, uh, of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to get up another Toxic Spike here. So that's one layer up, so that's nice. Um, I guess he could outspeed me if he's max speed. I'm going to go for Taunt. I don't want him to put me to sleep. Swords Dance, hello? Alright, well I'm going for knockoff here. Ooh, nice crit. There we go. Oh my gosh, he was SD Venusaur. That is terrifying. Um, I'm going to get up another Toxic Spike here because he is out on his, to on his Toxic Spike Absorber. So, he will have to like double back out and... Uh, hmm. I'm just going to go for knockoff again. I want him to knock me out. <clears throat> okay, and he's gonna synthesis. Alright, we're just gonna taunt. Um, should I taunt? Yeah, I'm gonna taunt. No, I'm gonna knock off. Cause he might switch out. That'll be a little unfortunate if he switches out. Alright, cool. <clears throat> yeah, so I want him to knock me out here. Um, Aromatease might get poisoned, but kind of okay with that. Let's see. Venusaur. So let's see. Offensive Venusaur versus Flygon. Yeah, Earth Power knocks it out. Yeah, I'm going for... I'm going to Flygon. 
Yeah, I'm definitely clicking Earth Power. I think that's my best bet. It'll knock out Venusaur as well. 45 to 54%. I mean, I would hope it would knock him out. Even if he's like max HP. Yeah. Even if he's max HP, it'll knock him out. Which I don't think he is. Let's see what you got, dude! <clears throat> As he's gonna go Registeel and catch all this damage. Not even bad. Uh, unfortunately, he can get rid of the Toxic Spikes here. So, I think I... Hmm. Yeah, because he can go Venusaur. I'm, I'm just going to defog. I don't want to deal with the Toxic Spikes. As he's going to go for Rocks. Alright, well, that was a little unfortunate. Because I could have just knocked him out, but whatever. Um, I'm going to defog again. I don't want to deal with any hazards. And his team is pretty weakened, like... I can set up on pretty much everything other than Jolteon. So, yeah, we're gonna get rid of the hazards here. And... He does have knockoff. That's a little annoying. As I think... I wanna go out into Aromatis. How much... Draco Meteor does a lot. So does Earth Power. Earth Power into Draco Meteor knocks him out. Yeah, I'm going for it. Yes, sir. As he's just going to knock off, it does knock me out. But without my Life Orb, how much do I do? Yeah, I don't knock him out. It's kind of lame. I am going to go for Draco, though. Because I'm still faster. And another one will knock him out. Okay, cool. So, I just didn't want the Toxic Spikes to be up. And this way he doesn't have them up. So um Please tell me Moonblast knocks him out. Okay. So we're gonna Moonblast here. He shouldn't be able to outspeed us. Unless he randomly has speed on this thing. Otherwise we click him Moonblast. Hey, nice. Um, I do kind of have to worry about Venusaur coming in now. Okay, but he goes Alamomola. Uh, I think he's going to try and wish pass. So I think I want to go into Meloetta right here. Really hope he doesn't like burn me with Scald. Or, I mean, I could... Okay, he goes for Toxic but misses. But I was about to say it doesn't matter. Because then I would have just gone into Alamomola or... Aromatease and uh, used uh, aromatherapy. I don't know why he kept trying to toxic. I'm pretty sure I had already revealed uh, sub. But <clears throat> the only reason I went into Meloetta straight away right there is if he did go for Wish, because then I could uh, I could be ready to hit his Venusaur on the switch. But we're gonna go for Psyshock here. Get off the damage. Because we still weren't able to get the damage we needed. Um, and Signal Beam. I don't know. How, I doubt it knocks me out. But I don't know if I want to take that damage. Signal Beam. 44 to 51. I mean. I think I'm faster than everything else. I'm just going to go for it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. At least I didn't hit myself, even though now I have the option to. Oh, wait, I didn't calc that I was at plus one spadef. Never mind. Yeah, I was eating that up. The fact that he confused me really sucks, because now something else has a chance to come in. But if he, uh... Okay, he goes Meloetta, so he gives me a chance here. As he's going to Toxic, and now I'm just going to go into Aromatis. I don't want to deal with this thing being poison. He might even go for Protect here. I'm pretty sure he's going for Wish. Which I really don't want to lose to Venusaur. Yep. Alright, I'm going for Aromatherapy. Oh, he's going to bring out Registeel. Why? If anything, I... I well, I guess I understand. 
And it's like Venusaur is good against half my team. And Registeel is good against some of my team. I don't know. Um, I don't know if he's going to try and T-Wave here. I kind of want to go for Protect just to scout. Yeah, he does have T-Wave. Okay. Um, hmm. So he can always catch me with the T-Wave with Meloetta. Uh, that's annoying. Unless I just go like hard into something right now. Yeah, I think I just want to go straight into him only. If anything, I'd rather this be paralyzed. Yeah, okay. I figured he was going to attack me there. So, I'm just going to go for high jump kick. He can't really switch into this at all. Hey, oh my gosh. Damn, why is that just, like, clean knock it out? That's ridiculous. Uh, I could even rapid spin here. To get the rocks off my side. Because that would be nice. But I think if he goes Venusaur, I have to attack him. I don't know how much he could do. Because I don't know if his item is knocked off already. Let's see. Venusaur versus Hitmonlee. Oh yeah, that knocks it out. Yeah, and I still have enough HP to like rapid spin if I want. So all he has left is an Alamomola. I'm like 100% sure that thing can't just win on its own. I do want a rapid spin. I'll get rid of the rocks and then just go down the life orb. <clears throat> As he's gonna wish. And... I think I just wanna go Meloetta. Go for the sub. I don't even know if Scald breaks my sub. Because my spadef is like ridiculous. Yeah. So, it's pretty much GG here. I wanted Meloetta to come in and take care of business. I don't... It sucks that we didn't get like a clean sweep on anybody with Meloetta. But, uh... You know, at least, at least we're putting in the last words here. Let's see. Meloetta... Plus two. A oh, I didn't mean to do that. I really did not mean to do that. Okay, well, that sucks. I meant to click sub. Like what? <laughs> he was bad there for thinking that I would even like stay in and do that. Ugh, that's annoying. How much does this do? Alright, he's gonna wish here. I'm just gonna go aromatis. I kind of have to. Man, that's annoying. He's gonna protect you. Alright, I might just cut this out and get to like the part where I'm back into winning because that sucks that I completely misclicked like that. Alright, so we just ended up forfeiting. Um, he only had like a couple toxics left, so. But. <laughs> my B. Like, that was easily like. Sub was like my best play by far. Because it was gonna take him like four scalds to break it. But what whatever, whatever. That's okay. I wanna see uh how much Wild Charge did. Yeah, Wild Charge didn't do that much. He probably could have uh stalled out my whole team other than Meloetta just because I had the sub. That's why I like sub, I think, especially in RU, because it's kind of like a bulky stally tier. Or at least in in my experience. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the showdown live. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, all that good stuff. Share the video, comment down below. And uh, once again, as usual, the link to the Cerebi post for Pokemon of the Week will be down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. And until then, I'm New Age Deal. Keep on watching. See you guys in the next video. Later.